Hey, what's up, guys? This is KD Cloudy, and I've been making these tech videos for a while now, for about a few years. And also on the side, I am a developer. I'm a engineering student, and every time I mention something like that on a tweet or one of these videos or on a live stream, I'm immediately like bombarded with a bunch of programming related questions from a lot of beginners which is fine but yeah one recurring question which i often get is that should i buy a mac for coding now this question is sort of understandable and obvious because macs are considered to be like the best computers money can buy and obviously they're going to be good for coding right and if you have the budget assuming you have the budget the answer can be yes but i believe that there is more to the answer than just a simple yes there is more nuance into it and a lot of it depends upon where you are at uh, in terms of your skills which stage you are at are you an absolute beginner or are you an intermediate person or you, uh, you have absolute idea about what you have to do all these things and uh, do you have something else to do like some creative work like video editing or graphic design or ui design and all of these things combined together and basically what do you want to do with your machine or your mac once you buy it has a lot to do with should you buy a mac or not now for my personal setup i'm using a 13 inch macbook pro from 2018 which my parents got for me uh, a few years ago which i'm very grateful for and very fortunate to own a mac at like such a very uh, young age and uh, i was mostly making videos i wasn't really super into coding back then that much i was just making editing these videos which was super great in final cut pro very fast export times compared to my old core i3 pc and photoshop was great you know adobe xd figma all that stuff was absolutely amazing so in late 2019 i was just going all in into web development back end front end all that stuff node.js express mongodb all that stuff uh, and uh, it really was intimidating at first but it also became very interesting later on more on more on my programming journey later on but yeah as i was going through that process as i was learning i was as i was going through documentation and watching tutorials on youtube I just got to realize how easy a lot of this stuff is to set up on a Mac and that's when I just realized that having a Mac for coding stuff is just it's it's kind of great I'm not gonna lie but why is that why is it that what is the technical reason behind Macs being so popular amongst developers for development related work or coding related work well it's got a lot to do with the fact that Mac OS and Linux basically share the same core of the operating system which is unix mac os and linux are unix based operating systems and uh, windows is based on that proprietary windows nt kernel but you probably already know that that's just basic stuff what's mo even more important is the ecosystem and over the years apple has just made everything so easy and built a lot of stuff in already um it's just too convenient for developers like us for example git which is like the number one most necessary tool required by any developer ever that is built into every mac shipped like in the world it's it's built in and on windows you need to do some additional setup to get it up and working not really a major difference but stuff like that when it's built in it just becomes easier for you to set up and it's like it's plug and play basically and similarly python compilers are built in you don't have to go through the pain of installing and setting up anaconda and c compilers are built in c plus plus compilers are built in goodbye turbo c yeah there's stuff like that and one more thing which i would like to talk about is something called homebrew homebrew is a package manager and a package manager will let you install pretty much any package or a piece of software or any tool just with one single command on the terminal so for example if you want java on your mac you just have to type brew install java and it will and it'll just install the compiler on your system you don't have to dig through oracle's website it's just that easy and it just opens you up to this world of package managers and how they fit into your workflow and there is npm there's coco pods if you're into ios development and it's a very good place to understand how package managers work so there's that and like i said all of this stuff works on the terminal and the terminal is like the biggest usp of a unix based operating system using shell and uh, shell scripting itself is a skill and if you go deeper and you can learn vim that's also an added skill so yeah all of these things basically just step your workflow up 
add some quality into your workflow, speed things up. And that's what it's all about. I'm probably yapping off too much at this point and it's totally fine if you want to take my word with a grain of salt. I mean, I'm, I'm learning as well. I'm a student, what do I know? And for that very reason, I brought on a guest. This is a collab, surprise, surprise. And uh, yeah, for some expert advice, I would like to call on Mehul Mohan, who runs a YouTube channel called Codam with 1.5 lakh subscribers. He teaches web, full stack web dev and all that good stuff. And he's like the perfect guy for this. He's like a top top DC scholar. Like he, he, he's, he's, he's just the perfect guy for this. So yeah, over to you, Mehul. Thanks, Kerry, for the introduction. Hey everyone, my name is Mehul. As Kerry said, I'm the founder of Codedam, also on a YouTube channel named Codedam, and I've been using Macs for at least three years now. I got my first MacBook in 2017. It was a MacBook Air, 128 GB, not a strong computer, but a beautiful one. As a developer, I love the fact that Mac brings the best of both worlds, a great user experience, which was super intuitive to me as moving from Windows to Linux-based systems, and at the same time, exposing you the functionality and the capabilities of a Linux-based system. According to me, Apple MacBooks is the best gift you can give yourself as a developer. Using a MacBook isn't a different world altogether, but a very special and unique experience and you would want to have that experience again and again as you progress towards stronger, powerful laptops. I upgraded my MacBook Air to MacBook Pro 2019 16-inch model back in 2019 because I wanted a stronger laptop. I used my Air for a lot of things from video rendering to coding to compiling code, a lot of CPU intensive tasks and now I knew in 2019 that it's time to upgrade. One great thing about Macs and that is super amplified with M1s now is that their hardware is very closely tied to their software. Apple makes sure that the software at least which they are making is super performant and, and works great across the devices. Like I said with M1s now there should be no concern about pricing versus features because that is a beast laptop. The joy you would get from using item 2 for, to customize your terminal, having all the supported development tools on your machine because Mac is loved by developers across the world. So developers of tools make sure that they create tools for Macs. All of this will be super joy and super exciting for you to use as a developer. This is probably not an Apple advertisement, but I can say that as a developer, one of the best things I love about my development process, flow and journey is my laptop, which is MacBook Pro. If you have the budget and you can afford a MacBook, then you should go ahead and use a MacBook. That's a no brainer. Over to you, Kerry. So uh, those were some very good points. I, I just totally forgot about item two. But yeah, nevertheless, uh, also, I don't want to make it sound like an Apple ad. And like, obviously, Macs are not perfect. There are some added baggage with owning a Mac and using Mac OS. There is of course the initial learning curve and getting used to the UI, but there is also like the added cost of buying adapters and dongles, external SSDs and special software to read your old NTFS drives and uh, the Android file transfer app to just connect your Android phone. All that stuff is very frustrating at times, but I assure you like coding on that thing on VS Code is just, it's just awesome. But yeah, before I end this video, I would just like to say that your laptop, your machine, it's just a tool. Owning a bat won't make you MS Dhoni or Sachin Tendulkar. You owning a paintbrush won't make you Picasso. And similarly, owning a MacBook won't magically make you a great programmer or a great creative or anything. You have to work at it, you have to work hard, you have to practice, you have to build your projects and that's how you kind of become good. And at that process, your tool is just a medium to get you through that process. You can do the same thing on Windows too, but on Macs, it'll just be a little bit faster. And in the professional world where your time is your money, even a little bit faster, even the smallest savings of time can extrapolate into bigger savings of time and money in the long run. And what starts out as this big 1.5 lakhs investment kind of generates back value as you become like an earning professional, as you generate revenue through your skills. And slowly in the long run, the Mac will pay for itself. What I'm trying to say is that your skills and abilities come first, your tool comes second, but if your tool is good, 
they can improve your skills and right now i'm losing my train of thought bottom line yes macs are good for developers unless you're a gamer in which case you should probably stick to windows yeah thank you so much for watching and catch you guys in the next one cheers